This is a weedy field on purpose, right? Yeah. I would definitely say the destruction efficacy has been surprising on water hemp seed. Water hemp is about a millimeter the seed diameter um, or, or less than that and for that to be rendered non-viable is really impressive. Hi, uh, this, myself is Ram. I'm a postdoc at Iowa State University. Uh, this is. Uh, I'm Alexis Meadows. I'm a master's student here at Iowa State in the weed science department. So we are here in this field, uh, which uh, Alexis is a master project. Uh, what you are seeing is you see a lot of water hemp. Uh, a typical farmer's field may not be like that, uh, but we just applied one pre year beside here and let the weed grow. No post was applied. So we can see, get a good bit of weed pressure uh, to see how good the or how we should control and can look at it. So Alex is going to talk about more what kind of data we're going to collect and uh, how this machine works. Yeah, so in this soybean plot we have a lot of water hemp here and what we're going to be looking at is comparing a seed destructor running to a seed destructor not running. So we will be collecting trays of the material that's coming out of the back of the combine and what we'll be looking for is destructed water hemp seed. We're also looking at other things such as how much seed the water hemp plant is retaining right now at this harvest date and then we're also trying to look at how much seed the water hemp plant could be shedding at the combine head. As a farmer you must be looking what should I do if your field look like this. Now it's too late, it's uh, harvesting time and you cannot apply any other side this time of the year, you cannot just leave your crop like that. So only there is a right now one mechanism or one tactic or strategy you can use is to use a hybrid weed seed control. So there's a buffle inside that separates the chaff and all the seeds from the straw. So straw will come through this way uh, as usual, whereas the fine chaff, leaf material and the seeds will pass through these two impact mills. They're running, these are stationary, but the inside it, that's running so fast, like 3000 RPM. And whatever comes out of it, just gonna polarize. And so, all the chaff plus seed out of polarization will come out through this. And that's where we're gonna, th gonna throw the pins, those one is parameter pins, uh, to see how many uh, intact seeds are falling in that. But this unit is on versus off. So to do that, what kind of sample collection we are doing? Are we going to talk about that? Like yes. how we going to see uh, how much, how many, uh, what amount of seed is killing or what the destruction efficacy? Yeah, so to quantify how well the seed destructor is actually working, we're trying to collect material, the chaff material, which is weed seed bearing, and we're collecting that material on plastic trays, and then we will take the material that we collected and we will run it through several sieves and try to find the seeds that are pulverized or not pulverized. Yeah, so right now seed destructors are on the market. They're commercially available with several different combine companies. This seed destructor that we're testing today is a ReadyCop seed destructor and the company ReadyCop is out of Canada but they partner with John Deere as well as other combine brands. So last year we were testing the seed destructor and we were seeing greater than 90% destruction of water hemp seed and then we also quantified a few other numbers which are seed retention of the water hemp before harvest. If we looked at a harvest date of October 1st or to October 7th we were seeing around 70% water hemp seed retention but then we were also seeing some shatter at the head and we've seen a range from 14% shatter to 30% shatter. So we'll see what these results conclude this year. The sh seed shattering occurs from the mechanical shake that is happening from the reel and the head of the combine. This shattering is common uh, with uh, even in the crops. So they try to do improvements in the combine uh, with the header, how it cuts, what can be the roo, uh, the reel, the way reel goes, uh, because the crop, the major emphasis is on the how to reduce the port shattering but we can use the same mechanism to reduce the water and shattering uh, as much as we can. 